I could imagine with all of the different animals, you have the vet care. You said the vet comes out quite often. That's got to cost a lot of money. Yes, that is for sure. Between vet care, feeding, things like flea, uh, flea prevention, thousands of dollars a year. So the donations that we get mm -hmm. and the guests that come out and come to our events and kids camp, things like that, goes a long way for being able to afford everything that we have here. Yeah, so you said there's kids camp, there's also private tours, and then there's the events that you guys do, like the baby goat yoga. Yes, yes. So probably my favorite event personally is going to be the kids camp because of the education factor for these kids leaving here, loving animals. But then you also have goat yoga, which we have a really good time at. It's a smaller group, so 10 to 20 people, and we're able to get people up close and personal with the animals. And then definitely the private tours. If somebody schedules a private tour from our website, uh, then they're going to get the ultimate package. Like they're going to get to see everything because it's just them and their group and they've got me or one of the keepers and we're going to go visit with every single animal on the farm. Absolutely and social media plays a big part in that too. Yes so Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, definitely follow us on all those. Um, they're a big part of getting our message out to the public what we do here. Teaching about our dairy, proper care for animals and things like that are very very easy to teach people through social media. We had so much fun at Goat Daddy's Farm in Elgin. There's so much to see and learn there, and Jason and his team share a wealth of knowledge about the animals and what it takes to care for everything from a python to a prairie dog, from horses to, of course, goats. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn more about the farm, check it out for yourself. It's open to the public every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. But on a typical weekend, you can get a look at all of the animals and get some goat cheese too. I tried five flavors and they were all amazing. Jason tells me they have a certain type of goat that they use to make the cheese and the result is kind of a buttery goat cheese. In my opinion, it's more mild than what you'd buy at the grocery store and it doesn't have that intense tang, but it is still very rich and flavorful. Goat Daddy's also offers kids camps at certain times and baby goat yoga regularly. I'd highly recommend a private tour if you have a group that wants to check out all of Goat Daddy's offerings. All the proceeds go back into the farm, helping to take care of those adorable rescued animals. If you'd like to donate or learn more about Goat Daddy's mission, visit GoatDaddy's.com. If you missed any part of today's episode or want to rewatch segments and clips from other episodes like our other segments with Goat Daddy's earlier this week, Make sure you go to SodaCityLiving.com to catch up on all the fun. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's at Soda City Living for behind the scenes footage and extras from all the exciting places that we visit. If you have a business and want to be featured on the show, just email us scl at wistv.com. We would love to showcase what you have to offer the Soda City and beyond. Thanks again for watching. WIS Midday is up next, and until next time, I'm living my best life in the Soda City, and I hope you are too, wherever you are in the Midlands.